at 100 years old. I should feel old, I guess, but I don't. Knoxville native David Barber has seen a lot. I was in the Marine Air Force from 1942 to 1946. That was during the war. Barber is a World War II vet. During his time in the service, he found his beloved wife. And we were married 65 years. After getting out of the service, both Barber and his wife found their way back to Rocky Top. My wife, too, both of us went to UT. Both of us graduated. Barber has accomplished a lot of things in his 100 years. His journey would take him to be an athletic director in Florida and come back to East Tennessee as a sheriff in Sevier County. I was 12 years there. Barber's family kept him going through it all. I got a daughter who lives in Georgia. I got another daughter who lives in Pittman Center. And I have a son that lives in Middle Tennessee. Along the way, Barber even found his best friend. We're, we're, we're buddies. Doug Michael met Barber when they both volunteered together in the same hospital. It, it's just such a blessing to, to know David and, and see him these years and, and uh, to get to 100 years old. The best friend duo has a lot of memories. There's so many good memories, it's hard to pick a favorite one. It really is. Michael calls his best friend an inspiration, someone who just kept on going. I try to find something to keep me busy because I've always been that way. This World War II vet and UT grad has definitely seen a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100 years later, he's wishing that he could do more. But I, just, I can't get out and get around like I used to. <laughs> but for now, he's got helpful advice to remember at the end of the day. I think we need to be helpful to our neighbors, do what we can to help other people. Reporting in Sevierville, I'm Marissa Rios.